The documentary just started up here a few moments ago. Ken Cal and Mickey Redman are here hosting the event. I talked to Mickey Redman before the event began, and no one really knows this experience, having been a player, having worked the brawl as well, more than Ricky, Mickey, excuse me. He says he feels like 25 years ago was just yesterday. Playing and covering this team, has there been anything like this rivalry? No. You know, this... It'll never happen again. The game has changed so much now. What's interesting is when we are here doing a game and, and Colorado's here, and they'll be showing the fights on the big board, and everybody's going, you know, look at the screen. And I go, look at the players. These young players are looking up at that board, and they're going, did this really happen? <laughs> it couldn't have happened, could it? But it did. And uh, those were the 25-year run that we had was incredible. It'll never be. It'll never be repeated, and uh, the memories were so vivid, and that's why we're here tonight. It felt like one of those moments where you remember where you were, and you had a pretty funny where were you moment when the brawl went down. Do you mind sharing? Yeah, it was uh, at the Joe, there was no elevator, and of course the press box was an afterthought. They took seats out, had to put a press box in, nowhere to go. So I was going, as in those days, I used to go down and do an interview and the intermission in between periods, so I had left the... Uh, the gondola and was on my way down when the fight broke out so I missed a part of the fight and then I got to call the rest of it off a monitor in one of the stinky old dressing rooms downstairs so yeah of all the times I had to go and that fight had to break out I blame McCarty for that I guess <laughs> not many people have the experience with this franchise like you do how optimistic are you heading into this new chapter for the Red Wings well I think uh, probably this season we just had our, our, our rebuild was jump-started at least a year, maybe a year and a half with, with Cider and Raymond being what they are and what, how they played last year. Um, we're really five years in, three with Eisenman. We got some great young kids coming. I'd say we're two years away from being really competitive. Outside chance for next year, but uh, I like what's happening. These kids are great. They're so innovative. They're so creative. It's, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. So we're in a good place. And if you're going to build it so it can't get blown down, you got to do it slowly. That's the way it goes, and Steve's doing a great job. And Stevie Y, we trust, right? There's been booing, there's been cheering. It's safe to say that that rivalry, those feelings are alive and well here in Detroit 25 years later. Mike, back to you. All right, Gina, thank you.